Hello, hello, I'm Ruby Burrito and welcome to today's video. I wanted to discuss about provisioner tokens. Right now, they may be a little bit of a hot topic or something that people are interested in because of the legendary armor. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to just kind of give a short explanation of what they are, how to get them, at least the best way in my opinion, and they're used for. So first, they are a currency. You can go to your wallet, you can scroll down, and you have provisioner tokens here. They are obtained in two different ways. The first one is trading specific items to a merchant called a faction provisioner, or completing challenge mode raids. So speaking of, we can go over to this faction provisioner. You can tell they have a hammer and anvil with the coins. You have the same icon on the map. If we move out of the way, you can see them there. So they should be easily identifiable from afar. If we go to them, you can see purchases remaining per account today. There's one. Now, this map, you have the reclaimed metal plates, the auric basin, you have auric ingots, and tangled depths, you have chalk eggs. Those you can exchange once per day, and it's just that one for the top item, for the top tab. The one below, you have Silvari Provisioner, Itzel Provisioner, Pact Provisioner, Noble Provisioner, Wagon Provisioner. You can see I did not purchase one here, but I did purchase these earlier. This one you can see there are different items. I'll pop up something on the screen that'll show the cost of some of these items, specifically the ones in Verdant Brink, so you can kind of see what it costs, because the Verdant Brink, Auric Basin, and Tangled Depths are the three faction provisioners that I would suggest using for getting your provision tokens. Now, there is a note here that you have no time gate on charged quartz crystal, lump of mithrilium, or research notes. Those are very expensive items to spend on this, but that faction provisioner is in the wizard's tower. Um, they are considered account bound. Again, the link down below will explain all of the different items you can use and which, which provisioner and where they are. Those items are account bound, but they are costly opinion and I would probably not use them unless uh, unless you weigh the options that you have now once you have them you can come down to the crafting rewards and the bloodbound weapons I'll start with the bloodbound weapons there are 10 provisioner tokens each uh, these are not unique skins you can see I have some of them unlocked and you can see the skin name is faithful though I would have gotten this from faithful not from the blood axe so these are an option but not necessarily what I would suggest spending your on. Next is the crafting reward. The polished aurelium is an item tied to a raid achievement. The crafter's supply bag gives you crafting materials, and the exotic equipment satchel gives you equipment. The one of note is going to be the gift of craftsmanship. Now, the gift of craftsmanship is used in several different legendary pieces. The gift of craftsmanship is necessary for completing both PvE sets that's going to be the raid set as well as the new secrets of the obscure set so the gift of magical prosperity requires one and so does the gift of mighty prosperity the gift of prosperity is the item for the raid set but also legendary relics runes and sigils require a gift of craftsmanship for me that pretty much sums it up uh as i said the best way is by going to the heart of thorn Cheapest way is by going to the Heart of Thorns maps, Verdant Brink, Orc, Basin, Tangled Depths. If you're lazy like me, you can buy your items in bulk. You can see I have four of them here. So with this character, I leave them by the Faction Provisioner, and I get four Provisioner tokens a day. And then I buy them, and the the prices are going to fluctuate. So keep an eye out on them. There's some that are 44 silver, but then there's some that are 2 gold. So... I would suggest spending your money wisely, maybe waiting a little bit longer. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. The best way other than watching is going to be hitting that subscribe button below or at the end of the video. Uh, it would mean a lot, and I appreciate all the support you guys have given me so far. So thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one.